Here's the Samsung Galaxy 8053. I'm going to show you how to transfer files such as photos and videos directly from your phone to a Windows computer, PC, or laptop using the charging cable. Now the first thing to note is the cable that comes with the A53 is a USB-C to a USB-C. Okay, so if you have, hopefully you have a USB-C port or a Thunder port or a Thunderbolt port on your uh, computer or PC. Okay, I have one here. However, if you don't have a USB-C port, then you can always use a USB-A to a USB-C as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this one here. So let me go ahead and plug this into my USB port there. And then let's go ahead and grab the phone here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Something popped on there, Galaxy A53. Now we should get a uh, look on your phone. You should get a message that says allow uh, this phone to connect to the uh, computer or whatnot. Okay, I didn't get it here. If I pulled the plug and popped it back in, it'll probably show up. But anyway, so from there, what you want to do is after it's connected, you want to open up File Explorer. Okay, now you can see File Explorer, that little tiny yellow folder right there. It's right here. Okay. If you don't have that there, just go into your search here, search area and type in File Explorer, okay? Anyway, let me open File Explorer up right there. I'll open that up. And then from here, just go ahead and click on this PC. So let me focus in a little bit. So this PC right here. So let's click on that. And now we see Galaxy A53. Also, if you don't see the Galaxy A53 on there, then what you may want to do is just uh, grab your phone, scroll down notifications, and then you'll see right here it says USB for file transfer. Tap on that right there, and then it said, now below it says tap for other USB options. Tap on that again, and just make sure that transferring file slash Android auto is selected. Okay, so now we'll double click on the Galaxy a53 right there. We're going to double click on internal storage and now we can see all the files that are stored on our A53. We want photos and videos so we're going to go to the DCIM folder right there. DCIM. Double click on that and I got screenshots and camera so I'm going to go to my camera here. I'm going to double click that and these I only recorded a few videos and a few photos here. Okay so now what I can do is copy this right onto the hard drive of my Windows computer. Okay, I can, I mean, I can drag and drop it onto the desktop. Just pick one and drop it. What I typically do is I'll go onto the empty area of the desktop, like right here. I'll right click on my trackpad. I'll go down to new and then I'll go down the folder and I'll click that and I'll name this folder. Okay, I'll just name it new folder. Okay, and now what I typically do is I can select which one I want, or I can just highlight the whole, all of it, and I can drag and drop into this new folder called new folder. So it's transferring right now. Give it one second here. Okay, looks like it's done. Now I can go ahead and just pull the plug right there. And now I have those photos and videos on my Windows computer. So let me double click on that. And you can see which ones are videos by the, uh, the film here on the side or photos here so let me so this is on my computer now testing one two three one two three four five six seven anyway you guys got the message questions or issues just comment below all right good luck guys bye